So, when you're AE can be a bit fiddly to set up and get a game going quickly, there's so many little options you want to uh, get right. Um, so in this tutorial I'll be showing how to get it to a point where you can just run a game by double clicking an icon and that will take you straight into it with no messing around. So I've already set up the display as I did in my previous video so I won't go over that again, but the first feature I want to cover is disk swapping. So press F12 to bring up the menu and go to disk swapper and make sure the floppy drive doesn't have anything in it at the moment. Then go to the first line here and click insert floppy disk image and we're going to start with uh, we're going to miss uh, we're going to use flashback as our game to set up here and just go through and set them all up in sequence like this. Okay. And then you want to go to floppy drives and set the emulation speed to 800%. You can set it to turbo, which is like maximum maximum speed, but uh, it can be a bit buggy, so I'd leave it on 800. So once you have that set up, you can just hold end and press 1 as if you're using the end key like uh, like the control or shift key and that just inserts the disk and away we go. And you can do that with uh, all the numbers up to however many you've got set up and it's a very convenient way to swap disks in game. So for save states, one way you can do it is you can just go into the miscellaneous tab and use save and load state here but that's uh, that's a bit too fiddly, so what we want to do is go to input and then select configuration 1 up here then select make sure WinUAE keyboard is selected and then go down to something unused like uh, let's see we have uh, numlock and scroll lock are unused so for numlock click that and then down here go and select from this list of quite a lot of things save state, here we go Okay, and then go to scroll, uh, scroll lock. It says just a scroll, but that's scroll lock. Then go down and find restore state. So the reason I'm not using quick save for that is because there is basically one quick save for all of WinUAE. So it won't save it dependent on which game you're running. So if you quick save in a different game, you'll write over your quick save for this one. So to show that in operation. Got the intro running here, and we can just press numlock, and that gives us a little menu where we can say uh, flashback intro. And then, if we want to reload, we can just go scroll lock, and then find the file, double click it, and it starts right back where we left off. You can do it anywhere, uh, at any point during a game. I'd suggest not doing it while the game is loading or saving, but other than that, it should be fine. Okay, let's just get into the game quickly and then I'll show you how to set up the controls in uh, a more convenient way. Okay, here we go, We can. it's asking for disc 2, so we just press end and 2. And here's Conrad, waking up like an idiot. Poor dumb Conrad. Okay, so because a lot of Amiga games rely on just one button you have to use the keyboard for a lot of stuff so in this game for instance you have to press spacebar to bring out your gun no one wants to bother with that you can set it up with a two button joystick but there's also you need F1 to bring up your inventory so let's uh, go into press F12 and if you go up here to uh, game ports panel and then select your controller oh another thing you'll need to go you need to, if, if this isn't show up you need to go to game ports and make sure your port 2 has got your controller selected um, obviously it might not be Xbox for you, Xbox controller for you, but whatever it is, just select it there. And then go to input, game ports panel, controller. Now if, you, if you're not sure which of these buttons are which, you can click test and then just start pressing buttons and it will, it will highlight the one that, um, that you pressed. And then just press F12 to exit that test mode. So I'm going to set up the shoulder buttons so that uh, this, this button 5 is the shoulder button. Actually, we need to select configuration one, not game ports panel. But yeah, because uh, for some reason you can't change the the inputs here. But if you go to configuration one, it's a little weird. I don't really understand why they made it this way. But if we click here, then we can select a keyboard input from here. So just find space. Okay, and that uh, gets our gun out. And then this one, we can go down to F1, and now. In game, I can just press my shoulder button to bring up the uh, the menu, and the other one to bring up bring out my gun. Ew. 
So those are just a few convenience features, but you don't want to do all that setup every time you run a game. So if you want to make sure that that's all saved, so you don't have to do it again, uh, press F12 and go to miscellaneous and untick show GUI and startup. So that basically means when we start this running, it won't show this screen, it will just go straight into the game. So untick that, then go to configurations and in the name field here, just type something, probably the name of the game is that you're setting up is what you want to select. Then click save and it will appear in this list here. So now whenever you start WinUAE, you can just uh, come to this screen under configurations, double click that and it will load up into uh, the configuration for flashback or whatever game you have set up. But we can get even more convenient than that. If you look up here, it's got a file path to, uh, to your documents folder. So that's where these config files are actually stored. Yeah, we can actually quit now because we've saved the, uh, the setup. So it will probably be in this uh, folder here, users, public, documents, Amiga files, WinUE configurations, but whatever the file path is, you can see it in the WinUE um, menu. So here we have a few I've set up before, but here we have flashbacks. So what I like to do is if we go to make a shortcut on the desktop, then we can actually go, uh, so just do by double clicking this, we can just run the game. But even, even more nice than that, we can actually go and give it a nice little icon. So if you just get any any small image and you save it as a bitmap, then it can and you know rename it to an ICO file. You can uh, you can make it into an icon, and then now we have a nice flashback icon right on our desktop or or anywhere you like, and then you just double click that, and the game loads. Now it's set up in the uh, configuration, so all we need to do is press End One, and we've inserted the flashback disk one and it starts loading again. But of course, if we want to load our state, we can just uh, press the load uh, hotkey, scroll lock, double click flashback intro, and there we are again, right back in the intro. So you can do this with, uh, with all the games that you want to set up, and then it just becomes a matter of simply double clicking the icon to start the game running, like it's a uh, native Windows application. Now you may have to associate that file type with WinUAE, but once you've done that, it will load straight into it, and yeah, it's all very convenient and lovely and fun, and yeah, hope that's useful. Enjoy your Amiga gaming.